Hey y'all, what's going on? I got two things I want to start out with. First thing, I apologize, it's been a while since I made a video. Second thing, it a little bit got paper in her ear. Guess she got an earache. You're not personal. Yes, I am. Uh, she didn't want y'all to see it, she was covering it up with her hair. <laughs> uh, we sitting over here at Prime at Springfield and uh, kind of off. Uh, well, if y'all know where the training pad is, back here in the back where the picnic tables and all are, she's been through so much shit, she got an earache. We had to go to Walmart and get her some earache stuff and put it in her ear. Now she got paper in her ear so it don't drip out. <laughs> oh, man, what a fucking mess it's been. Starting out with orientation, her orientation. That, that shit turned into a two week long process and three drug tests <laughs> and super singles I hate them son bitches I'm going to tell you about that in a minute but yeah uh, we got up here I don't forgot when the hell your orientation March was the fourth. yeah March the 4th we got up here like uh, that was a Monday her orientation started and then we got up, we got up here on uh, Friday March the 1st I think Oh my God. She took a drug test while she was at home before we come up here. And she gets up here, gets through her orientation on Wednesday. And on Thursday, I think, they decided to tell her that, you know, Thursday evening, they decided to tell her that uh, her drug test got lost in the mail. So Thursday evening, she didn't use the bathroom. We had to come over here to Trinity Healthcare and take and uh no that was friday you took a second drug test because they come back monday yeah it was friday and then when she took her uh, second drug test and like i said it was later on in the evening time and she doesn't use the bathroom and shit so we get over there and she can't go to the bathroom the doctor gives her a cup tells her to drink three or four cups of water so she's got three hours to take a drug test otherwise it was going to be a false drug test so she done that shit. Well, got the test back mon that Monday. And that wound up being diluted because she drank too much water. So Tuesday morning, she wound up having to take another drug test and it didn't come back to like Thursday. Oh Lord, but we got through that. I wound up having to go out on a load before her third drug test come back and she got cleared and badged. I went to uh, West Virginia, unloaded in West Virginia, went up Northwest Virginia, got a load coming back to Missouri so I can swing back through here and pick her up. And it was unloading on that next Monday. And I come through here that Sunday to pick her up. But we got it going and all and got her picked up and started her PSD phase where she gonna get her uh, her CDLs, and we got that, got her PSD phase done, two weeks of it, and she took her first test Friday, and she wound up failing it, her first test, because of a, a trailer that was out of line. When she went and done her straight line back, the damn trailer kept, you know, kept veering over to the line, and it kept putting her over the line. Well, she wound up getting too many points on it, and it wound up failing her. So today, she had her second test. She didn't have to do her pre-trip and all that, because she didn't pass that Friday. So today, she took her second, tri uh, second test, CDL test, and she passed it. So, a little bit is uh, almost a CDL driver. She still got to, we still got to go back house to the house and get her go to the DMV and get her hard copy CDL, but she's uh, she's got her CDL now, so we ready to do the TNT phase. We started that today, so her hire date is today, and today's uh, Sunday. What's the date? April the 7th. Sun, today's April the 7th, so she is hiring on the prime 100%, and now all we gotta do is her 50,000 TNT miles, and she'll be ready to 
upgrading and all that so but yeah it, uh sorry it's been a while we, since we made the last i know it's been down a month or so since i made uh made a video i think the last video i made was uh i was down there in montgomery had them uh cases of chicken turned down i wound up having to take them up to atlanta but when i got done unloading in atlanta i can't remember where i went to load at but it was going to south the load was going to south uh, north carolina well after i loaded unloaded north carolina i went down to savannah georgia just outside savannah georgia picked up a load coming back to atlanta because that was my second to the last load I was hauling going to, you know, on the way home to pick her up for orientation. Well, I got down to Savannah, Georgia, picked that load up, and uh, got to going down Highway uh, Interstate 16 in Georgia. And that got down there around Dublin, Georgia, and had a fucking tire blow out on the trailer. Man. I took a 10 hour break on the side of Interstate 16, waiting on somebody, waiting. I first, first I started out waiting on TA to bring a tire. They said it was going to start out being uh, a 190 minute wait, something like that. So all right. So I sat there and like three hours went by and Michelin on call called me and asked me if they was there yet. I said, no, nope, ain't nobody here yet. Three hours. Well, they called them. They called the TA to find out, you know, where they was at. They told me it'd be a 120 minute wait period. I said, shit, that's two more hours. It's already been three. That's five hours. After about seven hours, they called Michelin, called me back and says, anybody showed up? I said, ain't nobody showed up. They called TA. TA told them that they had done send they had done sent somebody out there, and that they tried to call me to find out where I was on the interstate, but I didn't answer the phone. That's what they told Mitchell. The motherfucker. I told Mitchell. I said. I said they fuck. I said they lied to y'all. I said because ain't nobody called my phone. And uh, so they wound up getting a hold of uh, a Southern Tire Mart somewhere an hour away. They wound up coming out there, but by the time they got there, got the tire fixed, and got me back going, I was at nine minutes and forty, uh, nine hours and forty minutes left on my until my ten-hour break was up. So. I went ahead and sat there another 20 minutes, just took a 10 hour break. And then I went on up to Atlanta. Got that load off. Went over to the east side of Atlanta, picked up another load going to New, New Albany, Mississippi, to the Walmart. And then I went home, picked up a little bit. But man, it's been a, been an inter uh, interesting few weeks. <laughs> but, we got it all taken care of. We got, we got, a. Uh, we're a full team truck now, but I'm gonna give her a little time, a week or so to get used to driving while I'm asleep. But now we can go to a, a full team clock instead of me being on duty while she's driving and using two clocks at once. So we got to pick up a load tomorrow going to, uh, here at, here at Spring, pick up a load here at Springfield going to Yuma, Arizona. So, uh, it's been a ride, but, but yeah, then, uh, see, I was told something different during her training. Um, or when I went through training, PSD, you know, her, when I went through training to train her, they told us that she couldn't pull out of the box. Now I know some of you ain't gonna know what the box is, but where you pull forward, do you and do you straight line back, and then you gotta do your offset. Well, 
during her straight line back, they told us that she couldn't pull out of the box in the front. Well, and later on in, in you know, upcoming videos, I'll, I'll explain to y'all more what, you know, what that is. But anyway, they couldn't talk, they told us we couldn't, she couldn't pull out of the box. That's one of the reasons why I kept messing her up on her straight line back. And then another thing, you know, I didn't know how they uh, done the points or whatever. I don't know, that's my trigger though. But, but anyway, that, that's the reason why she messed up on her straight line back. And, you know, because she didn't know she could pull up, you know, out of the box. So, and you can only get nine points. Um, so she got all nine of them on the straight line, <laughs> on the straight line back. But, you know, it's all good. Uh, even though she failed once, she passed it the second time. And, you know, it don't matter how many times you pass it, uh, you fail it, as long as you pass it and got them CDLs. So, and I also want to give thanks to Twisted Big D, or Twisted D now, uh, for giving me some pointers and all that. So I appreciate that, Twisted. Um, because I ain't never trained nobody before. You know, I realized during her training that just because I got a lot of experience, that don't mean shit when you come to a big company like this and, you know, you got to train their way. So, uh, Shit, we tired tonight, y'all. We, we got up early this morning and went over to the training pad to get the trailer that she's been using or that she started using after uh, she passed her, you know, after she failed her test Friday. Uh, I made sure we got us a, a straight trailer. That, that, you know, a trailer that back straight and pull straight and all that. So we found one and we've been using it. So we got up early this morning to come on over here because her test was at nine o'clock. So we got up early this morning, come on over here and uh, and make sure we got that, that trailer so she can take her test with it. But we'll be more, uh, what's the word? We'll be more excited, I guess, and more outgoing on next on the next, you know, videos. Cause we'll be, we've been busting our ass training out here, you know, on that pad and stuff. And it's been hot. I've had, I know y'all can't see it on here, but I got sunburn on my face. But it's all white around my eyes where my hat and sunglasses are being. <laughs> looks I, like he's got goggles on. Yeah, looks like I got goggles on. Yeah, you want to talk about my earrings? I want to talk about your goggles. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, we first come over here and go to bed. Uh, I don't know what time it is now. Eight, nine o'clock. But. We just got back from Walmart and all that, so. Shit, man. <sighs> it's been a ride, though. But we got it done. But all right, y'all, we're going to end it right here. It's almost 14 minutes, so. We'll see y'all when we get on the road heading to Yuma. We don't pick up till tomorrow night, so. Uh... But all right, y'all. Y'all take it easy, man. Stay safe out there.